It's time to transition our get absolute URL method to being dynamic itself, as in this string right here. So if you look at a URL, we actually named our URLs on purpose. We haven't talked about them yet because it's only related to this part. And that is making this being developed based off of whatever this is named. So to do that, we use a function called reverse. Come in here and call reverse. Here are some of the defaults that we use. Keyword args. Hopefully you're familiar with keyword args in the sense that, hey, these are keyword arguments that I'm passing to my view. So I know that I need to pass those as well. And what do I need to pass? Well, ID and self.id. So self is referring to the instance of the object. And then ID is referring to the ID that's built into it. The next thing is I just need to call the name. So the name of the actual URL that's going to handle this data. And that is our product detail. So that's the name, just product detail. So we save that and we go ahead and refresh in our links. Of course, all of that is now working. So that's a clean and easy way to make sure my URLs are dynamic. And what I mean dynamic is in my URLs.py, if I ever change this to let's say P, those links would actually update, right? So if I click on that, it now actually updates it as well. And it does it across the entire site, everywhere where the get absolute URL method is used, which there are third party packages that use this as well. Um, so let's just keep that in mind when it comes to making this more dynamic. Sure, you can hard code it, but that is definitely not a recommended method. So let's leave it as products slash 